The movie opens with Jake Sully recounting his simple and peaceful life as the chief of the Omatakaya clan and raising a family with his wife Natiri, which includes his sons Netam and Loke and his daughter Tuk, his adopted daughter Kiri. Born from Grace Augustine's unconscious Navi avatar, and a human boy named Spider, the offspring of Miles Quaritch who was born on Pandora but was unable to be brought to Earth in cryostasis. While Natiri distrusts Spider because of his human heritage, Jake can embrace Spider as his adoptive son. However, despite Spider being a human, all the kids get along and get along well with one another, even Kiri, who has a soft spot for him. Spider is more drawn to Navi culture and traditions than his human background. They go about their daily lives as usual until they suddenly spot an unusual star in the night sky. They are shocked to learn that it is an RDA spaceship carrying humans who are colonizing Pandora and building another another main operations station, much to their disappointment. Colonel Quaritch, who has been cloned into a Navi body and has had his memories from before his death uploaded, is one of the newcomers in the ship. Quaritch is therefore unable to recall his death at Jake's hands and is instead only able to recall the past and his vengeful mission to kill Jake. Jake directs a systematic guerrilla operation against the RDA supply lines, weakening them, to stop the RDA from abusing Pandora once more. Loke, who disobeys Netam and is anxious to prove himself, tries to help Jake in battle during one of the operations but is injured. Jake saves him and teaches him not to put his own safety in peril by acting recklessly. That evening, as Jake was attending to his wounds, Nitri gently reminded him not to be too harsh on Loke. Jake responded by expressing his concern as a parent for the security of his kids. In the meantime, Quaritch launches a mission to find Jake in order to avenge the attack on the RDA supply lines. Jake's kids journey deeper into the rainforest on a joyful expedition with Spider. They are unaware that Quaritch and his colleagues are in the same area looking around the location where Quaritch will see his human remains. Loke, who is perceptive, senses their presence and informs his father Jake right away, who is then made aware of the circumstance. However, a battle breaks out, and Quaritch's team kidnaps Jake's kids. Most of them are released when Jake and Natiri arrive in time, but Spider is captured by Quaritch, who recognizes him as his son. The RDA tries to force Spider on the ship to reveal information on Jake but she resists. Quaritch shifts tactics and addresses Spider as his son while also providing more information about the Navi in exchange for Spider's freedom on his side. Spider educates Quaritch about Navi culture despite his reluctance and ignorance of his true purpose. Quaritch also had success training an Ikron flying monster to use as his vehicle. Jake persuades a reluctant Nitri and his family to disassociate themselves from the Omatakaya clan and relocate to the eastern seaboard of Mikaina, a coral reef island whose clan and way of life are tailored to Pandora's aquatic habitat. In order to protect their safety from the threat that Spider's knowledge of their whereabouts poses as well as to prevent another catastrophe, Jake abdicates as chieftain to his successor and departs for Makaina with his family. When they arrive, they are welcomed by the clan chief Tanoari and his wife Ronal, who at first have their doubts about them. Jake, though, explains their predicament, and it is decided to let them stay and provide shelter. Jake and his family are mocked by certain tribesmen because of their genetic human heritage, but as they learn the traditions of the reef people, they gain the respect of the tribe. While Loke makes friends with Sireya, the daughter of clan leader Tanawari and his wife Ronal, Kiri is enamored with the underwater life of Mikaina and forms a spiritual relationship with the sea and its species. In the process of adjusting to their new surroundings, Loke fights with Sireya's brother Aonan after the latter makes a harsh remark about Kiri and him because of their mixed human ancestry. 
Jake corrects his son's behavior. Loke returns to apologize to Aonine and his pals on Jake's persuasion. But as retaliation, they lure him into a voyage into the realm of a perilous sea predator and abandon him there. The sea predator makes an attempt to harm Loke. But Paikin, a Tulkun, a peaceful and intelligent type of cetacean, whom the Mikaina regard as their spiritual family, saves Loke and becomes his companion. Elnan is asked to apologize to Loke upon his return to Mikaina when Chief Tanoari learned of his treatment of Loke. However, Loke accepts responsibility for his actions and gains Aonan's friendship. Additionally, he is informed that Paikin is an outcast within his race. While visiting a branch of the Tree of Souls to meet her mother, Kiri links with it but experiences a terrible seizure. Ronal heals her, but when Jake asks Norm Spellman and Max Patel for assistance, Quaritch is able to find them in the Reef People's home archipelago. He hijacks a whaling ship that is hunting Tulkoons in order to collect their brain enzymes for use in developing anti-aging treatments, bringing Spider along with him. Quaritch tells the whaling crew to wantonly kill the Tulkoons in order to bring Jake out before he begins mercilessly interrogating the local tribes about Jake's whereabouts. When Loke mentally connects with Paikin, he discovers that the Tulkoon was expelled because he disobeyed his species rules and attacked the whalers responsible for his mother's death. When the Mikaina hear about the Tulkoon killings, Loke and his siblings Tirea and Aonung leave to warn Paikin. They discover Loke, Kiri, and Tuk being held captive by Quaritch, and Paikin being pursued by the whalers. Jake, Neytiri, and the Mikaina headed out to confront the humans since their children were in danger. Jake is forced to submit by Quaritch, but when he realizes that his sole brother is in danger, Paikin fights the whalers, starting a conflict that leaves the majority of the crew dead and seriously damages the ship, leading it to sink. Loke and Spider are saved by Netaim, who is then fatally shot. Jake is up against Quaritch, who is holding Kiri prisoner. Quaritch initially rejects his kid when Neytiri does the same to Spider, but changes his mind after Neytiri cuts Spider on the chest. As the ship sinks, Jake, Quaritch, Neytiri, and Tuk get trapped inside. As Loke and Paikin rescue Jake after he chokes Quaritch to unconsciousness, Kiri conjures water monsters to assist her in rescuing Neytiri and Tuk. Spider locates Quaritch and saves him, but after seeing how cruel Quaritch was to the Navi and how he prioritized killing Jake's family over being his father and being a good man, he decides to leave Quaritch and return to Jake's family. Jake and his family decide to permanently reside with the Mikaina following Netam's funeral. This is where the movie ends. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.